Hello! Oh, my light's a bit bright. I think I might be a touch late. If I am, I'm really, really sorry. Just turning the light down a little bit. Hello! Right, let me get my laptop. I'm always running late. Always, always running late. So, laptop, I'll get loaded. Basically, I had to run the straightness through my hair because it had that sort of 50s wave thing going on. But then it got a bit frizzy and rained on. Haven't had time to wash it. So I'm, uh, yeah, so I just ran the old straightness through it to kind of like have it acceptable for uh, meeting all of you this evening and for work tomorrow. So this is a little bit of a squeezing, squeezing in session because I'm on 12 hour day shifts at the moment. So what that means is there's not much time for eating and sleeping, let alone live streams and videos and stuff. But uh, I had a lovely message from Dave and uh, Dave uh, May, I've forgotten your YouTube handle, hopefully you're here and he said are we doing a live tonight and do you know what i was already thinking about squeezing one in and so yeah here we are here we all are i'm trying to get my video up my uh laptop up so i can read your comments properly because they do disappear ever so quickly sarah's saying evening hi sarah and i am honestly trying to trying to get my laptop up but for some reason here we go your channel uh christy hi how's my evening very good thanks i only got in from work uh just over an hour ago i've got a drink i decided to skip dinner i had a late lunch anyway so save time skip dinner and uh switch dinner to vodka diet coke but i've only got I've had one, this is my last one because I've run out of Diet Coke and I'm not gonna, well, yeah. I mean, I have to go to bed early. So it is a two drink max tonight. Uh, Emma, hi Emma. I am about to sign in to watch my, to see my comments. So here we go. Right, just quickly catch up with your comments then. I finally got them. Jasmine, yes, you were first. Hi. <laughs> um, Heather says hi. We've got Hilary from the Bureau Nerdy Fragrances. Hi. And Indecence, JC Russell. Uh, Jasmine says my hair always looks the same. I love how you're always changing it. Thank you. It doesn't do much more than that. What you've seen now is everything. It's either curly or uh, the waves that my, only my hairdresser can do. I can't do those. I love those 50s. Uh, styled waves I can't do that and then I can straighten it but I don't usually bother so I've only straightened it because I didn't have time for a proper uh, restyle shampoo and all that so uh, so Sarah Lee says hi Christy says hi Emma says hi Rachel hey from Cornwall with Merlot cheers what is your drinks of the night people snacks of the night and of course sense of the night do share a fragrance test tube hello and tonight we are talking about sleepy fragrances actually not just sleepy fragrances not just sleepy fragrances bed fragrances so yes you can imagine you can imagine where this one's gonna go christy wearing fragrance i made today i want my to rip my arms off and smell like fabric soft <laughs> oh you made it are you um, a hobbyist, Christy, or is it more professional? And when you say you want to rip your arms off, is that, I take it, you're not loving the fabric softener vibes that you're getting? Uh, Stefan says he's wearing Dior Ballade Sauvage. And Jasmine's got a coffee and I'm waiting for my lentil curry to simmer. Hungry. <gasps> Yum! Rachel Ombre Fauve, Puffy Move General, but trying samples too. Yes. Robert, hi Robert Crawford. Um, that is the main man. Is that 
that's it the main man is in the house you must time that for me getting in from my son's training i i timed everything around you robert i promise I got my little card through the letterbox, so it's all good for me to collect the Aaron Terrence Hughes samples and all the lovely stuff that you sent me on Monday. I'll go and get those. So that's exciting. If anyone's interested, I will be talking about Aaron Terrence Hughes' fragrances and probably quite a few other things very, very soon. Um, and Chris, it is Kristin. No, it's Katrine. It's Katrine. K Steigen. You introduce yourself on Instagram and then every single time I see your name, I can't quite remember it right, but I'm pretty sure you're Katrin. Is that, is that right? And she's saying hello and she's wearing Lumphaline again. Heather, it's 2.50pm, drinking a latte, having a rocky road trail mix and wearing Jupe Le Bain. Heather, oh my God, anything rocky road, count me in. Jupe Le Bain, I tried that, uh, it was sold very, very cheaply in, I think it is quite a cheap fragrance, and I remember the longevity was ridiculous, it smelt very, very clean, a little bit old-fashioned, and did not ever go away. So the Jupe Le Bain, I thought was amazing performance. Do you get the same performance from it? Rachel, literally have 16 bottles by bed and loads of samples. Robert says, shush, it's a secret. Uh, Katrine, right, Katrine, sorry, um, Katrine, I will hopefully remember it now. It's difficult when there's a lot of you, I do apologise if sometimes I get it wrong, and some people have uh, similar, I say some fragrance reviewers have similar channel names, and sometimes I mix them up as well, which can be embarrassing for me, especially if I've interacted quite a lot, <laughs> but it's difficult when there's a lot of people, especially if it's all going on at once, everyone's talking at once, it can be uh, I can make mistakes with names, so I apologise for that. I will do my best, and I've never been good at names anyway. Uh, Christy, not loving it, correct. I make fragrances for local people and women graduates of drug rehab centres. Very enjoyable. This one I made today was a bust. Oh dear. Keep trying. I bet someone would love it though. Like, even if you don't, I bet someone else would still think it was good. Sarah Lee's wearing Fluffy Lemon Top by 4160 Tuesday. I've got a 15ml of that. It's beautiful. It's such a lovely, fresh and slightly gourmand thing that's just musky and beautiful. I really like that one. Oh, Tracy's here. Hi, Tracy. Ended up wearing Sappho sample today. Love it. Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? I've got so much stuff at the moment. I mean, I've had quite a few new things that I feel sad that I'm not wearing. And when you mentioned Sappho, I'm like, oh, I need to wear that. But it's like, I'm like, at the moment, I'm exploring poisons. I mentioned this in my previous live. I think it was the bath time one. I said that I wanted to explore poison and a lovely fragrance friend, uh, I did a bit of a swap deal type thing with, and she sent me a decant of vintage poison eau de toilette, new formulation poison, and I've got a miniature of the Esprit de Parfum. And I've been trying these today. I'm gonna to re-spray now. Uh, the weirdest thing happened earlier though. I caught a whiff and it reminded me of Lulu by Cacherel, which I don't, I would never have said prior to that, that it smelled anything like that. Let's go up here. So Poison Eau de Toilette Vintage. And when I did a side-by-side -side earlier with the current formulation the strangest thing happened with the current formulation it turned into hypnotic poison like but a watered down version so there is heliotrope mentioned in the notes and i don't get or notice the heliotrope at the moment in the in the vintage but in the new formulation within an hour or two of wearing it it became very soft, musky, clean, and almond-like heliotrope smell, which the vintage just didn't do. So I've got a lot of work to do because they are fascinating, intense, and very complex fragrances. So I thought I, would, I thought I was going to film a review today, but it's just they're too complex for me to film a review in one day. So I'm gonna. It's going to take a lot of wearings for me to get to know poison. Uh, Tracy, um, Tracy, Sarah, 
Sarah. Today, well, Gaia from Centauri uh, has survived shower. Wow, they're strong. Both the fragrances from Centauri are strong. I've got my Dendera just here, actually. It definitely takes me through an evening and asleep and into the morning. So I love that. Amazing. And bearing in mind, uh, particularly with Dendera, it's mostly natural. It's, I think it's a massive accomplishment. Did anyone see my live? With, I know Tracy was there. Did anyone see my live with Peter? I was on Peter's channel the other day and it's a, it was a moment of pride and honour for me. I've got to be completely honest. I loved it. Loved being on Peter's channel and we had such a nice time chatting vanilla fragrances. So if you haven't seen it, it's two hours long. So put it on loud and do your homework, your homework or your housework or something. It was a really nice, fun chat. Love, love, love Peter and everything he does with his channel and his fragrances. So it was a real honour to be on his channel. Okay, let's see what you're saying. Heather, it was, so the Jupe Le Bain was under 25 US dollars. Just wanted something simple, not too beast mode. And, oh, got an itchy nose, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was having me trouble scrolling. Uh, Robert, wearing today, Santal Extreme, a scene with a cold can of cola and a hardcore cold bottle of water. My son, my scent over the night will be Mancera Intense Cafe and also my dinner is mince, I think that means, mince and potatoes with two slices of bread. Very Scottish, Peter. Very Scottish, not Peter, sorry, very Scottish, Robert. Scott's in the house. Hi, Scott, off of the Centurion channel. And he's wearing Molinard Musk, a very head shop type patchouli. He's saying hi to everyone. So say hi back to Scott, please, everyone. Hevar, uh, saying that fluffy lemon sounds fantastic. Yes, it definitely is. Uh, ah, uh, David. Hi, David. So David kind of was the little push that I needed. David is Mavid Day. Mavid Day, he's saying evening to everyone. Here's the little push that kind of encouraged me to do a live tonight. Uh, Jasmine's saying some of these older classics are so complex. Yes, they really are. So talking about the poisons. Uh, uh, Katrine was there for the live. So was Jasmine, Christy, uh, the live I did with Peter. Um, and fragrance test tube, sad I missed it, we'll check it out ASAP. Yep, you're gonna need a bit of time, but um, it was so nice. We did we did the fragrances at the beginning and then we got onto more chatty stuff after, but we covered the vanillas quite quickly, uh, which I think is a really great concept for lives. And I, I was kind of gonna try and do that myself, cover the frags and then move on to the chat, but it is quite difficult because I don't like ignoring your comments. It's like trying to get that balance is, it's a skill, it's a skill, but as long as we're all having a good time, then what else matters really? Um, uh, Robert, sorry, asked two questions, got ignored, so went away and a half. Sorry, Robert, I really struggled because it wasn't my well, on my channel. I didn't feel I could grab at every comment because I felt like I needed Peter to lead because it was his channel so I didn't um I didn't see a lot of comments or answer a lot of comments myself so I apologize Robert uh Taffy hi Claire saw most of the stream you were great thank you um uh Claire, did you get a Brazilian <laughs> Brazilian blowout? No, but I actually, I'm talking to my hairdresser and he does, it's not quite the Brazilian blow dry, but it's, um, it's a treatment that kind of smooths the hair and he thinks it will be beneficial for me. So I am going to do that one just to help beat the frizz a little bit and then it will make it easier if I want to straighten it myself. So no, I didn't, but... Um, but I will be doing something very similar. Carotene, yeah, it's one of those kind of, uh, I can't remember exactly what he called it, but it's one of those kind of treatments. It's like four hours of, uh, four hours of them putting this stuff in your hair and straightening it out or, or something. Um, yeah, but you know, 
if it makes it easier to manage for several months then it's worth it I think because this hair is not easy to manage uh, Hillary loves the Brazilian blowout um, can I still be curly yes I did check so it's not a straightening treatment it's more of a smoothing treatment so he said I'll still be curly but um, it will just be less frizzy and easier to manage so yeah I'm not uh, I'm not giving up the curls I'm not quitting the curls the curls are me that's kind of like my signature so right then I think we should move on to sleepy bedtime fragrances or maybe not so sleepy bedtime fragrances uh, fragrance test tube says the curls would just be smoother and bouncier yeah that would be good he said it would be very um, nourishing and uh, would you call it conditioning so I need that I definitely need that so let's move on to the frags um, so bedtime fragrances and I've got uh, I've kind of gone in a similar vein as we did with the boss bitch stuff and um, what I mean by that is it's not just Here's 10 frags you can wear to bed. I've gone a little bit deeper. I hope you enjoy. So let's start off with, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go for this one, the co the cosy bedtime scent. So um, I'm not going to be doing these in order. So let's find it. Find it on my list. Here we go. So this is your cosy warm hug. So let's say you feel like you could uh, do with a little bit of, coziness warming up maybe the weather's really cold maybe it's stormy outside then in you need something hug huggy and cozy and warming and what better than midnight in paris so this is a beautiful benzoin ambery scent it's got a leather note but i find it more like a suede rather than a leather it's very soft there's Lily of the Valley that gives a floral touch, but actually I wouldn't necessarily pick it out as Lily to me. It's just a hint of floral, a hint of freshness and lots of woodsy incense, very huggable benzoin. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the bottle. The bottle is stunning, even looks a bit like the night sky. Uh, Robert, 9pm and the chat already has double meanings or is it just me in my mind? I'm not sure if I had a double meaning in mind or not but um, I mean they do pop out every now and then. Rachel, Midnight in Paris was too powdery for me, super tonga heavy. Yes, you are right, it's very powdery, good point, very powdery, and I find powdery scents very comforting and relaxing. And I think the benzoin, benzoin can be very powdery, as can, as you say, tonka. Mm. And I really like that, I find it extremely cosy, and it's almost like wrapping yourself in a cashmere blanket. Uh, Taffy, is that the EDP? It is actually, this is the EDP. I have had the EDT as well, and I don't get a lot of difference in the way it smells, only that the performance is only ever so slightly different. So some people will hunt out the EDP and they'll pay a lot more and they'll be a lot more patient to get the EDP. In my mind, I would be just as happy with the EDT. Uh, Christy says, anything vanilla and lavender? Uh, Leo says, hello everyone. Okay, so that's my cozy bedtime scent. That's my hug, that's my cashmere blanket. And are you ready for another one? I think you should be. So let's go for the outdoors lovers. Let's go for those that want to feel like they're at one with nature, sleeping under the stars, shall we say. And I have got Elisa Grace Stories number one. So this is a UK fragrance house. They're very small. They've only got the two fragrances, but they have body products as well. And they're called Eliza Grace, and it's Stories by Eliza Grace. And this is number one. So this is a is 
So there's a bit of fig in here. It smells a little bit coconutty, but not exactly coconutty, kind of like the woody coconutty. It's a bit fresh, there's some cedar wood, and it's like you're running around in the woods, so it's dry, it's, um, it's not wet woods, it's dry woods. You're running around outdoors. Maybe you find a little place to lay your head down and you fall asleep to the smell of trees and greenery and fresh air. It's a really natural smelling fragrance, kind of like Joe Malone can do there. Some of their more limited edition things are sort of based on woodlands and certain tr different trees and bushes and things. It's in that sort of ballpark, very outdoorsy, very natural smelling, quite comforting if you like that kind of thing. So that's stories number one, and that's your out in nature, sleeping under the stars outdoorsy types if you like being outdoors and you find that comforting and relaxing maybe you want to be reminded of camping then that is a really nice one stories by eliza grace number one and then next let's get transported somewhere a little bit more tropical shall we so let's say you want to have a dream about being on a tropical island. Maybe you live somewhere like here where it's been rainy and cold and grizzly and miserable for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. So you want to drift off and you want to be transported to a tropical destination with palm trees and tropical flowers and cocktails and just feel like you're in this amazing sensual place of sights and sounds and smells then why not wear chameleon to bed why not encourage your dreams to take you somewhere where there's colour and life and beauty and just an amazing tropical feel. So this fragrance to me is mostly about the ylang ylang. It feels like beautiful, exotic, heady flowers. Not just white flowers, but different coloured flowers. We know ylang ylang's yellow flower, but to me it feels like an array of different coloured tropical flowers that look stunningly beautiful but there's a slightly gourmandy sweet thing that makes you think about cocktails and it's just beautiful so if you want tropical island dreams then wear a couple of sprays of chameleon to bed Thank you, Jasmine. She says beautiful descriptions. Thank you very much. Mm, love that. That is like perfect beachy tropical island stuff right there. So next up, do you want to dream of being a princess? Do you want to be wakened by your prince? Do you want to dream of beautiful castles in the sky, of letting your hair down from your tower, of eating a poisonous apple? Then why not wear Lolita Lempica? This is the original Eau de Parfum and it's whimsical and fairy tale esque there's licorice, it's very powdery, there's almond, there's violet, there's vanilla, it's a bit woodsy, there's a tiny hint of something green just to cut through any sweetness, but this is absolutely your beautiful princess in her fairy tale story. The bottle is absolutely beautiful and the scent is very relaxing. You've got to like licorice though. Licorice I find is quite dominant here. Not everyone likes licorice. But it's powdery, it's fluffy, it's whimsical. It's almost a bit gothic because of this dark licorice note. 
conjures up lots of fantastical images whatever you're into unicorns and rainbows and fluffy clouds and princesses and all of that stuff is all right here in this fragrance the bottle tells you what you're going to get there's your apple do you bite it do you dare that's Lolita Lempica and that's the Eau de Parfum. Time for a swig. Okay, things have gone very quiet around here. Hopefully you are still here. I've got a hair on my mouth. Heather, I will, oh, oh, oh okay, um, you're talking amongst yourselves, that's fine, that's encouraged. So I'm going to move on then to the next one, and that is, I'm just going to find it. Okay, how about some peaceful, innocent dreaming? So this is more of a meditative relaxing open up your mind and just let sleep happen fragrance and that is angelique from papillon perfumery and this to me feels extremely relaxing without the obvious relaxing scent that you would expect say vanilla um, not vanilla uh, lavender this is an iris fragrance but there's a lot more than just iris going on in here there's a little bit of greenery there's some mimosa and it's a little bit woodsy it's kind of whimsical again like the lolita lempica but in a completely different way there's a texture here it's a very kind of dusty texture and it's very innocent it's very clean it's very much float away on a cloud of your own imagination it's very innocent and soft and cottony perfect to keep you safe and warm while you're sleeping take you somewhere beautiful calm and lovely that's angelique Perhaps in your dreams you'll go and fly with angels. Uh, Heather, sorry I have to leave. I have to take my son to get his physical for a tennis season. Good night, Claire and everyone. Night, Heather. Thanks for popping in. So, the next one. Let's go for our clean fragrance. So, sometimes, I don't know about you, but when I go to bed, particularly if I've had a shower and I just feel like I want to smell clean because I've had my shower and it's bedtime and maybe I've got fresh sheets on and then I want to wear a clean fragrance. And this one here is Beirut's by Chanel. It's at Chanel Paris. So, Chanel... Paris Bay Ritz. This is from their travel. They've got a little uh, line of travel fragrances. You've got Bay Ritz, Derville, Venice, and I've forgotten about the other one. Is it 19 some 1932? I can't remember. But they've got these. Tra they're based on the travels of the uh, of Coco Chanel, and Bay Ritz has lots of citruses so normally i wouldn't say citruses are great for sleeping because they're a little bit they're awake they're kind of like a more of an awakening smell they're very vibrant and they're not always perfect for going to sleep with but what citruses do is they have uh, they give you this sense of cleanliness and this has all the citruses it's got lemon bergamot grapefruit tangerine and orange what i get mostly is the tangerine and the orange they are at the forefront although once it dries down a little bit then you start to get the other citruses which are more bitter but the tangerine is very sweet 
and this is actually quite a sweet citrus. It feels to me like there's a little bit of sugar sprinkled over the citrus fruits, so just stopping it being too bitter and too bright and too zesty, which can be very invigorating. And when you go to bed to sleep, you don't want to be invigorated. You want to be calmed and soothed. But this is just, just right for making you feel clean without being too invigorated. As Stefan saying Derville, Derville is another very nice one as well. That's more green, I find. Um, Christy, I'd send you my fabric softener scent from today if you live, if I lived in the UK. Very fresh. <laughs> yes. So Bayritz has this musky element. It's a very clean musky element. So like Christy's talking about fabric softener. Musk can smell quite like fabric softener, which I think for a lot of us feels very comforting and very clean. And this to me does kind of give you that clean sheets drying in a meadow feel. It's got that clean fabric softener with the citruses, but very outdoorsy as well. Just a very clean and relaxing scent. So if you're thinking that you want to go to bed and you want to feel very clean and fresh and you've got fresh sheets and you're straight out of the shower or the bath, then I think Bayritz is a really lovely fragrance to drift off to sleep with. You're just going to feel squeaky clean and lovely. And I think there is a sense of comfort when it comes to cleanliness. If you think about when you're a baby, you'd be bathed before you go to bed or even cats, they have to be clean to feel safe and comfortable. It's why they're always cleaning themselves and they don't like a dirty environment. And I think that's the same for everyone. You don't want a chaotic environment and you don't want a dirty environment and you don't want to smell anything dirty when you want to go off to sleep because the cleanliness is, is a kind of sign of being comfortable and, and in a nice place to go to sleep you're all clean and lovely and you can get all wrapped up in your sheets your clean fresh sheets so I think Bayritz is a really nice alternative of course there's lots and lots of clean fragrances out there you can choose from to get that vibe but that's the one I picked for today oh Tony's in the house hi Tony Tony off of Fragdicted is here uh, Jasmine says fresh sheets is a favourite smell indeed. It's so comforting and nice. And everyone's saying hi to Tony, which is lovely. So let's move on to the next fragrance. And I think, right, okay. So now I'm onto my sex. I've got a little collaboration of sex fragrances and I've given them individual titles. So let's start off with the first one so let's go for the you're going to bed but you're not going to sleep you're going to bed with the person who is not your person so you're going to bed with someone for a steamy night and it's I've chosen the fragrance because it's got a lot of longevity so it lasts really well and it also changes a lot throughout the wearing. So if you imagine your steamy night with this person who's not quite your person, whether it be that you're just at the very beginning of something or whether it be that it's a little more naughty and you shouldn't be with that person at all. I have gone for, it's kind of obvious, The Lover's Tale by Francesca Bianchi. So this is an extremely sexy fragrance. It's based around leather, but to me, again, I get more of a suede because I don't actually get on with a very heavy leather, but I do love a suede note in fragrances. And to me, this is suede and iris, but it's kind of ambery. I get some kind of vetivery, grassy stuff, but mostly it's suede and iris and it's just got this richness and 
the fragrance changes so much, but not in a roller coaster way, but like from one position to another in very, very smooth motions. And as I said earlier, the longevity is out of this world. So the Lover's Tale is a perfect fragrance for lovers, for going to bed with your lover. But if you're not going to bed with your lover, I actually really enjoy wearing this fragrance to bed just because I love waking up to the dry down because the dry down on here is absolutely out of this world. And because it lasts so well, even if I get a rare, really long night's sleep, I can wake up the next day and smell wherever I've sprayed it and I got that beautiful dry down and I love that. So this is not only for lovers, this is also for cat ladies who, who sleep with their cat. It's, it's for everyone, but it's particularly sexy. So if you are taking your lover to bed, then the lover's tail is perfect. A la charisma, hello there, just hearing steamy and bed, sexy bed frags, musks, Kublai Khan, musky and raunchy. Haven't tried that, have to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid because I heard it's quite animalic, but I would definitely like to smell it, definitely. So I'm gonna have a little swig of my drink and then we'll move on to the next bed scent. Okay then. What have we got next in my sex series? Okay. So, if you want to be eaten, this is over the chocolate shop. So you will smell like expensive molten chocolate. The opening's a little bit powdery, but then it gets molten and it smells really expensive and somehow doesn't smell too sweet. There's obviously sweetness here. There's a bit of coffee as well, which kind of takes away some of the sweetness, I think. It's just the perfect fragrance if you want to be eaten. Or if you're on a diet and you're going to, going to bed alone, Therefore, you have nothing to distract you from the fact that you wish you could have chocolate. You can't have sex and you can't have chocolate. Then what better than a fragrance that smells of sexy chocolate? Perfect fragrance. Perfect fragrance to wear if you want someone to dribble all over you. Over the Chocolate Shop, I don't know if I gave you the name, Over the Chocolate Shop is by 4160 Tuesdays and it is absolutely stunning. It's my favourite chocolate scent. I love it and it is delectable, absolutely delectable. Okay, so top 10 cat lady frags. There's an idea, uh, Stefan and the Curious Perfumer. Um, ooh, I, I think I'll do a top 10 cat lady frags. Do it, do it, and make it a tag video. Tag me and I'll do it too. <laughs> I mean, where on earth do you go with that? I don't know. Uh, Cleopatra, five, six, seven. Cleopatra, seven. Claire, hello. <laughs> Emma, Claire, what are your thoughts on the new Over the Chocolate Shop offerings? I'm looking to get the Aftershock version. I've seen them, after, afters, yes, I've seen the email, I've seen them, I definitely want them, I want them all. Um, I'm, I'm buying too many perfumes at the moment, but I am visiting the studio on, uh, was it next, I think I'm visiting the studio next week. Yes, I think it's midweek next week, or, or this week coming, actually, yeah. I'm visiting 4160 Tuesdays, and I'm going to hopefully, if Sarah will let me, I'll give them a sniff. Um, I'm excited by the one with Violet, I'm excited by the one with Almond, I'm excited by the one with Rose. So, 
yeah, I'm really curious to try them. Uh, I don't know if I need to be buying them, but I really hope I get to try them and uh, maybe see if I, if, the, if there's one I love, maybe I can ask if I can just buy the one because I just don't need that, that, I don't need any more perfume, but they, I mean, the idea of, so basically what's going on, for anyone that doesn't know, sorry, let me elaborate. So over the chocolate shop, is a standard offering from 4,162 Tuesdays. But there's a new um, thing that's happening and there's different, as you can buy a set of three and there's two sets of three. One of them is uh, chocolate with flowers and one of them is chocolate with other desserts, other dessert type smells. So um, if you go to the 4160 Tuesdays website or group, join the Facebook group 4160 Tuesdays News, then you can find out all about them. But basically it's over the chocolate shop we've added something extra like rose or violet or almond and they all sound amazing. Yes. Um, ja so yeah, Emma's saying yes, sir. it's three for 15 meals for £75. So three times... One five meals, seventy five pounds. It's very reasonably priced. Uh, Katrine also loves gourmand cocon. I wear that to bed sometimes. I think if you like gourmand cocon, you would probably like over the chocolate shop. I would imagine. I liked gourmand cocon as well. Uh, uh, Tracy saying that that's her response as well to the ones from the new ones from four one sixty Tuesdays. Um, Cleopatra says it's perfect for bed but with your partner yeah I mean that that's an ideal world isn't it but you know I've got sweetie so that's gonna have to do for me for now um, Jasmine says maybe we can do a split in that deal that's a good idea and I also think if um, what will happen is people will buy various sets of three and then a lot will come up for swap because they'll maybe like one or two and maybe not like the third one. So there'll be a lot of swapping in the group anyway. So that's an option. Uh, Cleopatra, I wonder what differences between Over the Chocolate Shop and Gourmand Cocon are. That's a good question. They're, def they're definitely different enough. Gourmand Cocon, I think, is slightly darker and... I can't remember, it's a little bit boozy maybe, which I don't really get any booze from this. This has some coffee in, which I don't get from Gourmand Cocon. So they are different enough. Um, I think I honestly prefer that 4160 Tuesdays. That's the honest truth. Cleopatra, my English not so good. I'm sorry, I'm from Germany. Well, your your writing is excellent and I would never know, Cleopatra. Uh, Emma says she gets more coffee from over the chocolate shop. Um, so, let's move on to the next one. We're getting there, we're nearly at the end. So we're still in the sex part. And... I'm going to go with an, another one from 4160 Tuesdays whilst we're on the subject. There it is. And this one's called Temptation. You can't really see it because of the light. So this is one of the 15 mils. So you see how cute that is. So they now offer these 15 mils. So this one's called Temptation. It's not available at the moment, I don't think. It was in the sale. And then... Um, I think it's going to be available soon and it's a very musky cedary sugar kind of thing so to me this is your subtle sexual smell so this is the kind of fragrance that you wear when maybe you're just hoping things will get a little bit more than a cuddle it's not overtly come hither. It's the kind of fragrance that if your partner was just to give you a kiss good night or a little cuddle, they might go, oh, wow, what, what, you smell amazing. Um, 
let me just have another sniff and you know things might then end up going in the direction you're hoping they're going for but you've done it very subtly so this is your subtle sexy scent because it's just a little bit sweet it's a little bit sugary it's very fluffy musky woodsy i think it's probably ambroxan don't be put off by that it's not it's nothing like sauvage sauvage and ambroxan are kind of like entwined like this in everyone's minds but actually when you take ambroxan on its own it's a really lovely soft smooth sexy woodsy note nothing harsh no harsh woodsy notes in here whatsoever it's just a musky and slightly sugared smell that I think uh, most people would want to smell more of and get a little bit closer. So Temptation is very well named and the perfect scent to just cause a little bit of temptation without being overtly sexual or asking for it. <laughs> Thomas says, good God, Claire, what is this filth? Come on, we're all adults. Well, I hope we are anyway, gosh. Um, so I've got one more for the sex stuff and then I've got a final uh, number 11. So all of these, uh, we'll, this is going to be number 10 now. And this, let's see what I've called it on my in my book. If you want to be kissed all over then we've got Almerina Cherry by Fragrenza so this is a dupe of Lost Cherry and I don't do dupes and clones too often on my channel because I know a they're annoying and b there's a lot of people who really are against them and I understand it but I really like this as a clone of Lost Cherry Lost Cherry on my skin just didn't work it was great for about 15 minutes something happens and it falls really flat and i just i lose the voluptuous sweet rich cherry almond and it's very sad this is a dirty bottle because i'm a dirty bitch but it's a it's a lost cherry so it's got this it's got the boozy cherry liqueur it's got the almond and it's rich and it's syrupy and it's absolutely stunning. It lasts on my skin over 12 hours, I'm not even joking. And it's so sexy that if you want to be kissed all over, then you just spray a little bit, start with your feet, work your way up. Don't go too mad, just a little bit here and a little bit there. And this is your kissed all over scent because it is absolutely delicious and amazing and I love it. Uh. Cleopatra says, Claire, without being over sexual, I have the perfect scent, Orchid Avene for Van Cleef and Arples. Yes, that's a beautiful scent with white chocolate, a little bit of violet, some woods, lots and lots of rich edible vanilla it, yes it, i think that's a very good bed scent definitely and emma is a green it's a very soft scent on me so perfect for bedtime and she says just for cuddling and romantic kisses without more intimacy frank dictated i have zara and brookside and it's very soft fragrance slightly woodsy slightly ambery Yes, yeah, so that's almost certainly going to be an ambroxin scent and they really are ambroxin really is actually quite nice it's not as bad as people think because usually it's used with other harsher woodsy notes and i think that's why people then have a an association that ambroxin is harsh and it's not it's very soft uh milos did you try any fragrances from francesca bianchi if so any stood out positively for you yes we have covered it actually uh, the one that i've got um actually i've got two but the one that i have and really love is the lover's tale and that for me i said was a very sexual fragrance for a night with 
uh, someone that maybe you don't necessarily or shouldn't necessarily be with or maybe you still don't know each other too well it's a very sexy suede and iris fragrance it's a little bit ambery a little bit sweet lots and lots of development it really does change a lot so that's my favorite from francesca bianchi the longevity is crazy and two sprays is more than enough it's very very potent so i love the lover's tail uh, christy more and more people are mentioning amarina cherry as being better than lost cherry is that spelt right? Amarina. No, it's it's a Amarina. So you put Amara. It's A M A R E N A. Amarina cherry, and I would stake my life on it that it's better than Lost Cherry. And I know uh, that might be controversial, but for me, if you gave me a bottle of Lost Cherry and a bottle of Amarina cherry and said which one do you want I would pick that because lost cherry just does not work on my skin it might be my skin but I hear it a lot I'm not the only one that says that it falls flat it really does and that's no disrespect to Tom Ford there's some really great Tom Ford fragrances I think lost cherry smells amazing to start with but just something happens it does not work on me but that does and I've got a good friend Lindsay who I let her smell it and she loved it so much. I made her a decant and she told me afterwards that she wears it on a night out and she wakes up and she can't understand why she can smell something so beautiful the next day because it lasts that long that it takes her through a whole night out all the way through the night and then into the next day. So it's not just me that loves it. Uh, Frank Dicted says that sounds good. Yes, it really is. Um, Milos, wow, that's awesome that you enjoy it that much. Definitely will try to get my hands on a sample in the near future. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have one more then. So that was the, we've done the sexy fragrances. And then the final fragrance is the kind of main thing that you really want from bed most of the time. And that is a really nice, peaceful, relaxing sleep. And the best aromatherapy essential oil for sleeping is lavender it's very well known lavender is calming it's balancing for your mind and it helps people to sleep and so I've got here Mont Galan this is the eau de parfum intense but you could take the original Mont Galan it will do the same kind of job this one is also a bit powdery and vanillic a little bit fresh in the opening so i would say probably spray it like an hour before you go to bed so that it can really mellow and kind of the freshness will dissipate and you'll get the vanilla and you'll get the lavender and it's kind of syrupy it's almost like it's almost like there's a little bit of maple syrup in here as well but the vanilla is delectable it is stunning and it lasts so if you wake up if you wake up at three in the morning four in the morning you will still catch whiffs of the fragrance and hopefully it will help you to relax and that is my pick that's my number one if you just want a relaxing peaceful calming scent for bed then you can't go wrong with Mont Galan or if you don't have access to Mont Galan just pick something with lavender that's nice and smooth, doesn't have too much citruses, and that should do the job. Christy, I love the Galan powdery DNA. Rachel, ooh, best sleep sense for me are Shalimar Eau de Parfum, Lush Twilight, and Caron Portinom. Lovely. So that is all the fragrances. I've just got a couple of notes of things to mention with you. Did I spray the poison? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I think that was here. So I've got some poison and I mentioned this earlier, but I will be talking about these in more depth later on. So I've got the Poison Esprit de Parfum. So this is a vintage mini. I'll show you what it looks like. This one, 
brought me back some memories, which is really nice. I did a lovely swap with a, a lady called Amanda on um, one of the fragrance Facebook groups that I'm in. Uh, so here we go, there's a mini. And my mum used to wear Poison. Um, she didn't wear it for very long. My mum is still around, I'd just like to clarify that. My mum is still around, I'm very lucky, but she lives in France. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Uh, but when I was younger, going back as a child, mum wore Poison, I think she probably got through two or three bottles. So she wore it for a few years, but it wasn't like her main scent. She's always changed. But what happened was I haven't really smelt Poison since then it's not something i've sought out to try i just have i've just kind of dismissed it as being too loud too obnoxious not for me and then i smelt the lid of poison in a shopping center a few weeks ago and thought actually that's really nice so i've done a lovely swap with this lady on facebook and today no not today yesterday received uh, the decants and the mini but when i put the elixir i don't know if my mum had an elixir maybe she did but when i put the elixir on my hand yesterday and i put it on here i was instantly taken back to my mum getting ready to go out on a night out they didn't go out a lot my parents but when i was much younger they went out a lot more than when i got older and i was I was thinking the other day, when I did my video, I did the um, four most important fragrances and I wanted to talk about a fragrance that my mum wore, but the one I thought about was poison, but I just couldn't remember, I just couldn't remember how it smelled and it's never been a scent memory thing because I've not been smelling it in life since then and I've forgotten completely how it smells and then I smelt this, put it on my hand and I was like, that's it. It was like eureka moment. Yes, that is the smell of my mum when I was, I don't know, eight years old or something like that. Took me there, just like that. It's amazing and I really, really like it. But it's not like my usual thing, but it's, it's, it's rich, it's plummy, it's a bit old fashioned, it's definitely vintage feeling. It smells of incense. I asked my colleague today, what do you think of that? And he said, oh, it's, it's nice. What's it remind me of? What's it remind me of? Oh, incense sticks. So that's, and I think it's quite incense-y. Love it. So I'm really pleased to have that beautiful mini bottle and the decants I've got here. Plus, uh, someone else is now selling me a vintage bottle of poison. So... Um, I will have a bottle. So I'm going to keep on go, trying the decants and then when I've got the bottle, I will probably hopefully figure out how on earth I'm going to review and compare vintage to current. So that's going to be fun. That's going to really uh, work my nose and my brain quite hard because they're not, they're not the usual things that I usually wear and I don't necessarily pick up on all the notes or even that many of the notes really. Uh, Lisa says such lovely suggestions as always. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, Christy, it's amazing how long poison lasts on your skin. I was 19 when it came out. Can't believe I used to wear it to church. <laughs> Lisa, I personally love wearing to bed the good but cheap Joven White Musk or Jessica Simpson Fancy. Uh, yeah, I think Joven White Musk, absolutely, because it's clean. It's musky, so it's going to give you almost like clean sheet feel, like that kind of stuff. I haven't tried Fancy, but I've heard great things about that, so I still need to try that one. So that was my uh, update on Poison. Basically, there will be some uh, Poison videos coming, but it might take me a while to formulate how I feel and how I describe them. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, Robert has sent me some Aaron Terence Hughes things to try, so there'll be some, uh, there'll probably be a live on those because I'll just maybe cover them all first impressions in a live screen, screen, live stream, and then try and review the ones I like the best. Um, oh, Essence, uh, so I don't know how many of you 
uh, I know about Essence in Milan and the fact that it's now been postponed. So I, uh, myself and Dan, Mr. Smelly, were going to Essence in Milan and it was supposed to be mid-April. We booked our flights, we booked our Airbnb and then we found out that it's been postponed because of the coronavirus. So because there's a few towns in northern Italy where the virus has spread quite badly, the, um, the government is saying don't travel to those towns, but they're not saying you can't go to Milan. However, uh, I guess because a lot of people are going to want to avoid going to northern Italy at the moment with what's going on, they've pushed back Essence, the perfume exhibition, it's been pushed back to the end of May. But the problem with that is, A, I don't think we can get a refund on our flights. Luckily, they weren't that expensive, so it's not a massive deal, but I hate waste. Uh, if, of course, the government say don't travel to Milan, then I'm sure I'll be able to get the flights back. But uh, the other problem is I'm actually supposed to be working across the new dates, so it's gonna be uh, tricky I'm going to have to find someone to cover my shifts so maybe I can do it maybe I can't I'm not sure so don't know at the moment it's hanging in the air as to whether I can get to Essence this year also there's this other worry of what if what if we book our flights again book more flights only for it to be cancelled or postponed again so there's another worry and that's obviously a worry that everyone who is planning to go to Essence is having and probably even more so with much worse repercussions for those people that were planning on showcasing their business so that must be even worse so not complaining not moaning it's a terrible situation the the virus of course I'm talking about so it's just the logistical side of it is uh, basically it may or may not be able to get to Essence. I don't know if any of you were planning to go, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit awkward at the moment. Uh, Dan Spanos is here. He's wearing Carlisle from Pop Armster Marley. Sprayed it on at 6am and it's still going strong. Yeah, but Dan, we don't know what time it is where you are. Share, what time is it? Uh, JC Russell was saying hi, uh, Christy, can't wait to see the Aaron Terrence Hughes ones, do a frag chat with Dan and smell them together, I'd love to see both of your reactions. Yes, we'll do, if uh, if we can get together and uh, and it work out, then yes, okay, we'll do. And then, what else did I have on my list to talk about? Um, that is kind of it. Hi John Snow, Scented Snowdrops, hello. That's kind of everything I had on my chat. So really, I'm opening up the floor to you. I covered different bed situations. Are there any bed situations I didn't cover and you feel that you have a fragrance and a situation that you could match together and share with us? So that is the question to the floor while I have a drink. <laughs> Fragrance test tube says hospital bed. Okay, great idea, that's different. Uh, hospital bed, so it's, I'm guessing, gonna be quite medicinal. Has anyone got a hospital bed scent? So, do you go literal and go medicinal, or do you go for something that might comfort you while you're obviously not in the place that you want to be do you go for something that's going to give you a memory uh john snow says oh dark lord by killian fragrance test you says back at 5 40 according to some link on poops oh what is medicinal all that john snow says his one fits a morgue um tracy says if i don't feel well uh, things like snow mint mallow solstice scents Oh yeah, that sounds nice. I guess it's gonna like give you that fresh feeling, lift you up a little bit. Peppermint, yeah. Uh, Robert Crawford. Crawford says Creed Royal Mayfair. And Christy agrees, something minty or menthol. Okay. Any other bed situations? Stefan, I prefer perfume body lotion. My skin is very dry, I need to moisturize. 
you've due body lotion you're very nice i haven't tried that but i bet that's pretty strong actually sometimes i feel like going without scent and just doing a really nice body lotion so um i love it's not available at the moment i really love lush snowflake which is a thick and beautiful almondy scent and it's so lovely that usually i take my shower i smother myself in snowflake and then i'll hold off spraying a fragrance just to enjoy the scent for an hour or so love that or i'll wear that and then wear something with almonds so it kind of fits Jasmine, yes, I use peppermint and lemon lavender for migraines. Fragrance test tube has deathbed been mentioned. You lot are a bit morbid. <laughs> Christy says lush snowflake is beautiful. Robert says you've due lotion is great. Okay, then deathbed. So here's the thing. I think often about what fragrance I'd like to be wearing when I die. I don't know if any of you do that. It's not necessarily deathbed because I could die instantaneously without the need for laying in a bed and getting lots of attention before I die. But if we're talking deathbed, so let's imagine, let's be uh, positive and imagine that we have made it to old age and we're lying in our deathbeds. What do we wear? What's our scent of our deathbed? <laughs> John says... The scent of a soft pillow over your face. <laughs> um, that's the scent of euthanasia. Oh my goodness. Uh, Stefan says Chanel Egoiste for my deathbed. That's an interesting choice. Uh, fragrance test tube, something to cover the rot. Now there is Death and Decay by Lush, but that may be too literal. Dan, I know it's morbid. It wasn't my suggestion. I put these questions out to you lot and this is how it goes. Tracy, not thought about it, but every half hour between feeding me grapes spritz my favourites. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jasmine Mugwe, the scent of spring and rebirth. Uh, Christy, I don't want to smell old. Yeah, I think I would probably want something quite clean and refreshing and vibrant like Pomelo Paradis or um, uh, Serge of Renaissance. Renaissance, because that's kind of like a revival, isn't it? Um, yeah, I would pick that. And it's got mint, which is uplifting. And it might kind of like take any scent of decay out of the room. TT is saying hello. Hi, TT. Right then, I think let's move on from deathbed. Has anyone got a, another scenario? A bed scent. Another scenario. We've kind of, we've covered quite a lot though because we've done uh, sexual ones. We've done sleepy, relaxing ones. What if you wanted to evo evoke a particular dream? Is there anything that you, I mean, is there any particular dreams that you guys really like? and you feel like a scent might transport you there. When I was younger, I used to want to dream about Smurfs all the time. So I would go to sleep thinking about Smurfs. That's not the same as a scent, but I used to sort of lay there and, and envis envisage myself in Smurf Village. Yes, and now I'm a Smurf. Robert Crawford, wet dreams. Just fall asleep holding your water glass, Robert. That will sort that out. <laughs> Christy, how about no, I have a headache one. Yes, yes. So what is the, the, the scent of not tonight, love? What's the scent of not tonight? Um, so probably something slightly off-putting. Um, so yeah, secretions magnifique. That's kind of like um, you didn't get away with not tonight, and it, it all happened, and it went a bit mental, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, what would put them off? Says Tracy. Um, so I've got a story going back to when I was with Dan, and uh, he had a fondness for 
I think it was twin. It was either twenty four gold or rag bar Latafa. They both smell very similar to me. Oud vanilla, sickly oud vanilla fragrances. They got quite hyped up um, going back a couple of years in the community. They're quite well loved. I find them disgusting. And um, yeah, one night before bed, Dan hosed himself down, head to toe, and I think it was rag bar Latafa, head to toe. 20 to 30 sprays of Ragbar Latafa. So I think it's fair to say that he was not up for it that night and I was as far away from him as I could get. Um. Uh, so Christy says to John, I don't want a divorce, i.e. I'm not gonna wear Secretions Magnifique. Uh, Emma Sombra by Strangers would put them off. Yes, that's got a scent, a scent of, uh, from it and rotten flesh, I think. Um, John says uh, poison or something to remind him of his mum. Yeah, that would work if you've got a scent that reminds him of his mum or his sister or his grandma or something like that. Dan likes rag bar. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Uh, TT, how old are you? If you're talking to me, how old am I? I was going to say 34, but I think I've just regressed because I'm actually 42. I think I'm 42. I could be 40. I, I'd like to think I'm 41, but I think it's 42. But um, yeah, I don't feel it though. Yeah, Dan, it must be a Dan thing. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's like Rag by Latafa. John says, 21, Claire, don't fib. Yeah, I'm 21. <laughs> how can you forget how old you are? When you get to, when you get past probably mid thirties, you do start to forget how old you are. Um, uh, David says, 42 going on 22. Yeah. <laughs> Jasmine, I have issues with bad smells, or maybe it's my job. I don't really like perceivable animalics or any funky kind of thing. Yeah, I think I don't, I definitely don't love animalic fragrances, very funky stuff. There's a few things I can handle. So Lover's Tale, for example, is hailed as being quite animalic, but it doesn't actually bother me too much. But you, if you look at my collection, there's not many things that have got really animalic notes. It's just not something I gra gravitate towards. Uh, TT, what job do you have? Um, Sauce for being a stalker. <laughs> I work for a water company. Um, I have to monitor, from a distance, I monitor reservoirs and treatment works. And when I, they, we get alarms coming in for all sorts of things and have to call out people if I have to call out people or sometimes you can sort things out with the computer yourself it's a 24-hour job and um, it's not that glamorous but it's a good job Jasmine's a carer um, oh, um, TT. TT is he being a police officer or a teacher interesting uh mavid says bouchon jaipur the perfect bad scent baby powder to me so that would put you off would it david robert says it's not true claire is a stripper yeah only when i um do a live stream from the bath that's about actually no there's some stories but um not stripping stories but there's some stalker not stalker there's um what do you call it streaker stories but they're not coming out tonight um tt are you pakistani who me i don't i don't think i've got that look really um oh um david says no that wouldn't put me off it would be a good scent if I'm going to bed on my own. Okay. All right. How about... <laughs> no, I can't say that. 
Um, yeah, um, I probably need to go to bed soon actually myself. Um, Robert Crawford, birthday soup stories. Yeah, um, not tonight. I tell you what, they might come out in another live stream, but they're not coming out tonight. But yeah, there's, some, there's a certain element of fun and adrenaline and excitement that can happen when you strip off somewhere you're not supposed to. Let's just say that. Uh, David, you can say that, turn off your filter. Um, Awakening Sacred Flow says, Love and Tale sounds amazing. Um, mm. Yeah, TT, you've asked lots of questions. Let's, let, uh, I think Dan's firing them back at you. So, what do you do? Uh, I think he means for a job. So, any other bed, bed scenarios, bed scents? TT says I'm in year 11. TT, are you a child in year 11? If so, go to bed. You've got school, no you haven't, you probably haven't got school in the morning. It's Saturday tomorrow, but I've got work. I've got work in the morning, so I will be going to bed soon. <laughs> Jasmine's told you, TT, get to bed. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. Mavid, we best not get too crude with TT in here. Uh, it's 16 year olds probably um, seen it all, done it all, or they like to think so, I, I did. <laughs> I'm going to see my girlfriend at 1am. Richard, hello. Hi, Richard. Right then, so I am going to call it quits in a moment. If you have anything more to add, do so now. Now's your last chance. If you have a bedtime scenario and a fragrance that you think would match, then let's hear it. Uh, Jasmine's asking TT what scent will he wear? TT, what scent will you wear when you go to see your girlfriend? Don't say Secretions Magnifique, because we'll hit you around the head with our spanners. And anyone else got a bed situation you want to share? TT says none, because I smell good. Hopefully you'll be freshly showered, TT, and please tell me that you don't use body sprays like Axe or Lynx, because if you do, we might have to throw you out. I'm only kidding. They're acceptable for youngsters. But um, where's some Fahrenheit? 1am <laughs> though, come on. That's your girlfriend and you're visiting her at 1am. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's take the focus. It's not fair to um, take uh, put too much focus on TT. Um why are you saying I'm young? Well, 16 is young. I think most of us are quite old in <laughs> Well, I don't know, but I speak for myself. We're, I guess we're kind of old here. Um, six, yeah, but 16 is still very young to us. That's all. But when, yeah, we're not, yeah. Sorry if we sound condescending. Okay. Right then, I am going to call it quits now. Yes, exactly, Jasmine. Enjoy being young, TT. Make the most of it. Dan says, I'm older than you are, Claire. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> um, uh, we're not ageist, no. Um, okay, I think that's probably enough, everyone. Uh, oh, Frank's, Frank's just said L'Occitane's Lavand, Lavandel is a perfect bed scent. Well, it sounds perfect. Anything with lavender is perfect if you want to go to bed to sleep. But yes, uh, I am going to go now because I need to go to sleep because I am up at quarter past five in the morning and it's now gone 10pm and I haven't eaten anything. 
it's too late to eat now so I will be uh, just going to bed to sleep because that's what I do and what's my bed scent going to be? What's my bed scent? Okay, I'm going to spray my bed scent and then that's it. So I think I'm going to go for the obvious, the number one choice because there's not going to be any kissing or eating or anything of any sexual nature. So I am going to bed wearing the Mon Galan Eau de Parfum Intense and that will hopefully help me drift off to a peaceful, restful, relaxing sleep. Night everyone, thank you so much for joining. It's been lovely. I love chatting with you all and I think you know that. I think you can tell that I'm really genuine when I say it. And I hope to see you all soon. My two weeks off is coming up as of Monday. So from Monday, I've got a lot more spare time. So I'll be doing a few more lives once I'm in that time off. Until then, I hope you all have a lovely weekend and smell good and enjoy yourselves and I will see you all soon. Bye.